In today's video, we are going to build a machine learning model to predict whether a person has breast cancer or not. The data set is taken from the Kaggle. And like we had a competition for the Titanic data set, we also have a competition for the breast cancer data set, which is available on the Kaggle website. So now let us jump start into the coding part of how to build a machine learning model. So we'll first and foremost import the necessary libraries. Import numpy as np, import pandas as pd, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, import import seaborn as sns import warnings warnings but filter warnings we are going to ignore all the warnings which turn up now let us import our data set df is equals to pd dot read underscore csv rest underscore cancer dot csv now let us look at the head of df dot head so over here you have sample code number clump thickness Uniformity of cells, size, uniformity of cell shape, marginal addition, single epithelial cell size, bare nuclei, bland chromatin, normal nucleoli, mitosis, and class. So if you observe the class column, you have two and four. The two indicates that it is benign. The tumor that you have found is benign in nature. And four indicates that the tumor that you have found is malignant in nature. So basically... If you have two, the person does not have breast cancer. And if you have four, the person has breast cancer. Now, if you look over here, we do not have to perform any exploratory data analysis over here because most of the things are already done for us. We do not have to use any label encoding, one hot encoding, or anything of that sort, or skewness handling, or anything because it's already done for us. Now, if you look over here, the sample code number, is it a useful column? No, it won't give anything. We cannot draw any inferences from the sample code number. It will not show that the person whose sample code number is high will have a high chance of breast cancer. No, nothing like that happens. So it's good that we get rid of it. So now let's quickly get into our coding part for model building. So for that, we'll have to divide our data set into x and y. So our x variables would be all the variables other than your the last column, that is the class column. And or your y variable would be your class column. x is equal to df dot i loop. I need all the rows. I only need columns from 1 to minus 1. I do not need the last column at all. So just get rid of the last column and the first column for me. And remember that even if I say first column, its index is 0. So we write 1 to minus 1. And y is equal to bf dot i log. I need all the rows. I need only the last column. Now we have successfully divided our data into x and y. You can see how x and y looks like. It is pretty similar to the data frame df.head. Now, after we do this dividing into independent and dependent variable, we have to divide the data into training data and testing data. So for that, from sklearn.model underscore selection import train underscore test underscore split x train x test y train y test is equal to train underscore test underscore split 
x comma y test underscore size is equal to 0 0.2 i am taking 20 percent it's up to you you can take 20 30 percent depending upon the data set if you have a very small data set it's preferably said that you take a smaller test size so that you have enough samples for testing and training and i will state a random state at one i'm saying the random state to be one so that it will be the same the results that i get and you are going to get are going to be the same now comes the model building so the four steps of model building which we have seen earlier we are going to apply over here so before we get into the model we have to import this models so from sklearn dot neighbors import key neighbors classifier from sklearn dot linear underscore model import logistic regression once we have brought these models we have to create an object the objects make our life easier instead of writing k neighbors classifier all the time we just write k in it short and sweet so k in it is equal to k neighbors classifier i can mention the number of neighbors from which we have to check the distances so n underscore neighbors is equal to 5 it's by default 5 so even if you don't write the statement it won't make much difference so if you want to deep dive into the hyperparametric unit just press shift and tab and go in and check the different different hyperparameters that you can tune in knn now let's create an object for logarithm logistic regression now remember that building the model is not everything we have to check whether the model that we have built is good enough how do we check this whether it's a good enough model we have our accuracy score we have our confusion matrix and we have our classification report so from sklearn dot metrics import accuracy underscore score confusion underscore matrix classification underscore report so this is ready since we are building two models instead of writing eight lines of code we can reduce it into four lines of code by just creating a function since we have two models writing eight lines of code is easier but suppose you have 10 to 15 models that you're building do you think you can sit and write 60 to 70 lines of code no so to make our life easier we will create a function this we have even created for the titanic data set so def my model i will give my model a model now normal steps model dot fit extreme y train model y bread is equal to model dot predict x test and finally we have to check for the accuracy score so print because i want it outside accuracy underscore score you can also create an alias for accuracy score but over here i prefer to work with the entire word widest my grid i want the confusion matrix on the next line so i just write slash and slash in and confusion underscore matrix widest vibrate
fiber. Lastly, I need the classification report. By test, by bread. So our model is ready over here. Now all we have to do is call this model. My model, I'm going to write KNN because we have created an object for KNN. So the KNN model gave me an accuracy of 99.27%. It's a pretty good accuracy. But do you think it's a good indicator somewhere something is amiss? This is mainly due to the data set being highly imbalanced. If you see the data set, it has more number of people who do not have breast cancer compared to the number of people who have breast cancer. So a better matrix than your accuracy would be the F1 score because it has your precision and recall at the same time. Now we can do the same thing for logistic regression. So my model, log reg. Now we have to run this code. So the logistic regression gives us an accuracy of 98.54% and an F1 score of 99%. Over here, you would understand how exactly to build a machine learning model, how to create a function to build a model. I hope the idea is clear for one and all. In the future videos, we are going to learn how to handle this imbalanced data because without handling imbalanced data, if you build a model, it is next to garbage. So in order to make our models more robust, we have to handle the imbalance in the data. Now, in the future videos, we will handle those things. I hope how to build a model for KNN and logistic regression on the breast cancer data set is clear for one and all. Thank you. Do like, share and subscribe to the EcoDecky. If you have any queries, please feel free to post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.